Today's episode of Baxi's Musical Podcast is brought to you by Canna Provisions. Canna Provisions is an adult-use cannabis dispensary with the largest selection of cannabis products in western Massachusetts with locations both in Holyoke and in Lee. They offer a warm, unique shopping experience with guides rather than bud tenders. And in fact, they're not just a dispensary, they're a destination. Visit CannaProvisions.com. That's CannaProvisions.com. Please be over 21 and please consume responsibly. And now it's time for Baxi's Musical Podcast with my guest, Rob Halford from Judas Priest. It's Baxi's Musical Podcast. In November of 2020, I had the chance to talk to Rob Halford, the lead singer for Judas Priest. And at the time, I didn't know what to expect. I had just read his autobiography, Confessed. I had spent years playing his songs on the radio, like Living After Midnight, and Breaking the Law, and You Got Another Thing Coming. But I never had a chance to talk to the guy, the freaking metal god himself. I mean, this is a guy who has spent the last 50 years belting out one metal classic after another. And I was about to have a little chit-chat with the guy in the middle of a pandemic that forced the man into sitting around in his house all day like everybody else. What I found out about Rob Halford is he is kind of like everybody else. On one hand, he's a fire-breathing legend with an insanely spectacular voice, but more importantly, the guy could not have been nicer. Humble, filled with gratitude. He was freaking awesome. And so when I was given the chance to speak to him again to talk about Judas Priest and their 50th anniversary tour, I certainly wasn't going to say no to the guy because that would be stupid. Because while COVID was touching people over the world, health problems were also touching Judas Priest. Between Glenn Tipton's battle with Parkinson's and guitarist Richie Faulkner's successful recovery from a ruptured aorta to Rob Halford's own battle with cancer, nothing stops this band. Judas Priest is not only coming to New England this week with one show at Foxwoods on Friday, April 1st. They're also coming to the Songa Center in Lowell on Monday, April 4th. They've also been nominated for the third time for induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and we talk about that and a lot of other stuff, too, with my guest, Rob Halford from Judas Priest on Baxi's Musical Podcast. Great to see you. How you been? Yeah, good. Wow, we're almost over the halfway point on this uh, leg through... uh... The USA on the fiftieth yeah. anniversary. You know, the the last time we uh, we talked, you had just uh, released your your autobiography, confessed. It was the middle of COVID. You had lots of free time in your hands. You had lots of time to talk to <laughs> yeah. me. Uh, it 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 has to feel so good to get back on the road and back to work. And in spite of all the postponements that you guys have had to face during this fiftieth uh, anniversary tour, for all of us, for all of us, yes, because you know. The reason we're here, the reason we love what we do is when we all get in the room together, you know, night after night, it's a celebration. We've all got through this horrible pandemic, endemic uh, together. We've all missed each other desperately. The greatest things in music happen when you're all in the room and the band and, and, and your fans and you know, you can't beat it, man. It's wonderful to have your music, to have your music anywhere in the world, on the radio, in your car, at home, whatever. But the, the music really lives when you're with each other and you're screaming and you're shouting, you got the horns <laughs> up. That's when it really, uh, you know, that's when it, the, the magic happens. You guys are going to be at, uh, at Foxwoods at the end of the week on, uh, on Friday the 1st, but then you're going to be in Lowell uh, next Monday at the Songa Center. Uh, so it's great to have you do a couple of New England shows. I mean, I, I think uh, you know fans are, are real excited about seeing you guys. We love you guys. We haven't seen you for a while, <laughs> but you, uh, we know you've you've been looking after us forever. This is such a glorious, blessed moment for Priest. A lot of us have been in each other's company for fifty years. I look out every night from the stage, and there's a bunch of guys. <laughs> with the Gandalf beard like me. I'm like, yeah, you were there from the you were there from the start. But it's equally it's equally thrilling to see new metal heads yeah. that are seeing Priest for, for the first time. And you wish you had another 50 years. But anyway, yes, it we're so excited to come back and to have these two shows uh in the 
you know, kind of close proximity. So come and get a double helping of the priest if you can. <laughs> so I want to ask you a couple of things. I know that, uh, I mean, obviously the pandemic was hard enough, you know, everything getting you know interrupted, but you guys have not uh, necessarily had the easiest time off. I mean, uh, you know, Richie Faulkner had health problems. You've had health problems. How are you feeling? Feeling great, man. I got to tell you again, this is the power of metal, the healing power of metal and music. Music is therapy amongst all the other great things. It's just a beautiful experience to take it in and to utilize it and to help you recover and get you strong. And uh, the first thing that Richie said when he came out of 11 and a half hours of surgery was, get my stage clothes ready. I'm ready to go. You know, <laughs> it's that kind of, it's that kind of mentality that we have in this band and amongst our fans, because equally we all go through a lot of similar things in life, don't we? So um, whether it's us in the band, whether it's you guys, our metal maniacs, we all face these ch challenges and we use the metal to bring us back stronger than ever. And that's exactly where we're at right now. We're having the time of, our lives and Richie's remarkable considering what he went through um, to be back so quickly and so strongly and so powerful. Uh, so there's another reason to come and uh, celebrate with, uh, with the priest. I know uh, there was a, I, I just saw a video on, on YouTube of, uh, of Glenn joining you guys on stage. And uh, that was, it was so cool to, to watch and, and, and knowing the struggles that he's, he, that he's had, uh, you know, with Parkinson's and then to, to see him on stage with you, that had to be just a, a, a real thrill to have him back. Overnight, it's really, it's really powerful and overwhelming, you know. We never know when Glenn's going to show up. He's been able to come out from the UK and do a few of these shows. We honestly don't know from night to night because that's the horrible thing about Parkinson's, the way it works with you. But it's just, it's just such a, it's so amazing, you know, when, when I introduce him every night and he comes through the through the side of the stage, you know, and he's smiling, he's he's elevated, he's got his guitar ready, he's ready to <laughs> crank it out, you know. The fans go nuts, there's tears, the screams. Yeah. It's so fantastic. And um, we we were thrilled because we, we started this 50th tour back in the UK for the, the Bloodstock Festival, as it's called, the big heavy metal premiere metal festival in the UK. And so he played that one and he said, I want to, I, I want to do as many of these 50th shows as I can. And, and that's what he's doing. He's the, he's the epitome of, um, of that great priest song from the firepower album called um, no surrender. Yeah. He's amazing. Absolutely. So you guys, not only on the tour, but you know, this year you're also nominated, I think for the third time for the rock and roll hall of fame and whether or not you, you get in, does Dolly Parton bowing out give, increase your chances <laughs> at all? <laughs> <Is> there... <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's cool about that. The, uh, everybody, you know, threw in that 10 cents worth uh, or two cents worth, whatever it is. And that's passion. That's what music is about as well is passion. People, you know, you, you let your feelings be known about the music. It was interesting to read and hear what, what Dolly had to say about her feelings regarding the hall. Um, it was also interesting to see what the hall said about Dolly. It was also interesting to see that she, you can still vote for Dolly. <laughs> um, you know, she could win. That's the way. It's such an independent structure. She could win. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that's just the, the way the whole system works. Um, we love her. I mean, she's just iconic. Actually, I was a bit disappointed because I was hoping to get a, a <laughs> selfie, you know, the Metal God and Dolly Parton selfie. I couldn't wait to put that, at, you know, on my wall. Um, but, uh, but anyway, bless her. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But I can only reinforce what I've said a million yeah. times, which is about getting some more metal in the Rock Hall of Fame because we, we, we sorely need it, you know. Metal is still an incredibly powerful form of music and it deserves its dues. We paid our dues. We deserve the respect that we're entitled to. And I'm not putting us on a platform. I think everybody agrees that um, there are bands like Priest and Maiden and all the other bands that are still waiting to get in that, that should be there. Yeah. So fingers crossed we'll get in this time, next time, if not next time. You know. <laughs> 
Well, I, I it's hope like so. It's like the casino at Foxwoods. Am I going to win? <laughs> press. Am I going to win? Press. <laughs> well, you know, that's, you know, uh, you know, to me, it's like one of those things that is like astonishingly underrepresented in that Hall of Fame. And and for all the times that metal doesn't get the, you know, the respect it deserves. I mean, you know, the, the, you've sold a lot of records over the years. And so has Iron Maiden. And so has Metallica. And so have all these bands. It just goes to show that, you know, it, it's not about what gets said or who gets voted into a, into a shrine. Your fans believe you're Hall of Famers already, whether or not you get the votes to get in. Yes, and that's the most important thing here. You can never stop saying that we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't have made it through 50 years without our fans. You're yeah. nothing without your fans in music. You're nothing without your fans, you know. And uh, and our fans, uh, our fans, uh, if we are inducted, our fans are, are there in with us as far as we're concerned. Yeah. Because you, you put us there. I, I, I know we don't have a whole lot of time. You've got a pretty busy schedule. I do want to ask you about uh, the, the rumors of a new album. Is that something that's going to happen? Or is it something that's being yeah. worked on? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we've already started tracking. And um, I would say we've, 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 we've got the, the components of, of, of the right songs. Because firstly, in the band, you can never have enough songs, you know? If you're in a band and you go, oh, we've got 10 songs, that's enough. No, get 20, get 30, get 50. You can never have enough songs because when you lay out all the songs, then you can really see where you are at at that moment in your career. And then you can look at each piece and figure out how you want to represent yourself at this moment with the songs that you've made. So we have the material, we've started tracking and we're, we're slowly piecing it together you know the clock's ticking as well we you know we go through three year cycles when we when we do this kind of work so um we've already kind of looked at what's to be done so you know looking into the metal future there's a, there's at least five more years of metal coming your way let's hope so Judas Priest. let's hope so yeah i, I saw on uh, on the website that there was a box set released i believe last year 49 yes disc box set of, uh, of Judas Priest is <laughs> like, it has to be, if not the biggest box set of all time among them, that's for, that's for damn sure. 49 CDs. It's, it's nuts. My postman delivered it to me and he banged in the door and he goes, Rob, I've been bringing <laughs> stuff to your house forever. Can you help me get this out the back of the van? Because I can't pick it up. <laughs> it's the ultimate heavy metal statement. And, um, and so, yes, we, we worked really hard. We had a fabulous team of people. Uh, working with us because we were putting this together through the firepower experience we were out on the road and there was lots of emails and zooms and we've got this we've got this we've got this so um, a lot of behind the scenes activity from an incredible bunch of people um, we wanted to make something that represented this milestone this 50 year golden milestone so it does that it really takes you back especially some of the live tracks some of the live tracks we found from the very first shows we played here in America in the 70s. Wow. That's remarkable. I didn't even know we got those. So it's a real metal museum of Judas Priest in that respect. If you can get your hands and and, and eyes and ears onto it and go through <laughs> it, it's just endless, <laughs> endless I'm, history of the band. I'm, I'm going to need some scaffolding or some reinforcements or a hand truck to get that thing into my house. But <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Listen, I, I, I know you don't have a lot of time. I, I want to thank you for for, uh, for coming on today. Uh, again, you're going to be at Foxwoods this Friday, April 1st, and then Monday the 4th at the Songa Center in in Lowell. Rob, it's always a great to, pleasure to talk to you. Best of luck with the tour. It's, it, it's, it's, it's great to see you. Glad you're doing well. Thank you, my friend. It's always good to see you when we zoom. I love to zoom now. Before, <laughs> before when the zooming started, I'm like, why can't I just do a phone call? I, you know, no, we have to zoom. But it's great to see each other, isn't it? It really and is. And you're looking good, my friend. So are looking you. Looking good. Uh, hey, man, it's always great to speak with you. Thanks for supporting Priest and Metal. And uh, we look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Yeah. My pleasure. Thank oh, you, yeah. Rob. <laughs> All right, buddy. See Take ya. care now. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Once again, the Judas Priest 50th anniversary tour is coming to Foxwoods on Friday, April 1st, and again at the Tsonga Center in Lowell on Monday, April 4th. And again, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame announcement for the class of 2022 is coming up in May. 
Thanks again for listening to the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Love to know what you think. You can always email me at backsatrock102.com. Thanks again for listening to Baxi's Musical Podcast.